214 says that the verb, or V, tells what the subject is, was, or will be doing. To, have a to be a subject, it must have a verb. To be a verb, it must have a subject. Write this down and uh, pause the video if you need to. Okay, so this tells us that these go hand in hand. A subject and a verb always come as a pair. So if a, if a sentence has a subject, it has to have a verb too. Let's look at our sentences again. Subject tells who or what is doing something. The verb tells what that subject is doing. Okay, so in the first sentence, dogs bark, we said dogs is the who. The what is, the what they're doing is bark, right? So we're going to label that with a V for verb. The dog down the street barks at the mailman. What is this dog doing? It's barking, right? Again, so V is the verb. Notice also in this sentence, what else do we have here? Dog down the street. Down is a preposition. The street is the object of that preposition. And so here's a prepositional phrase. Again, barking and another prepositional phrase, at the mailman, right? V is at, the mailman is the OP. Uh, after the game, oh, there's another prepositional phrase. After what? After the game. So there's prepositional phrase. After the game, my sister is who, and what is she going to do? She will meet me, right? So will meet is going to be the answer to what she's doing, verb. And for ice cream is also a prepositional phrase. Notice how these prepositional phrases can appear at the beginning, at the middle, at the end, anywhere in the sentence. They give us more detail. When is my sister going to meet me? Why is my sister going to meet me? She'll meet me after the game for ice cream. Which dog? The dog down the street. When does it bark? It barks at the mailman. Okay. So just to reinforce those prepositional phrases. But the core of the sentence is always going to be the subject and the verb. Okay. My sister will meet me. The dog barks.